Hi there, today we're going to do some multiplication for year 3 and 4 and we're going to look at the grid method starting with the concrete apparatus. So here I've got a mathematical question which is 13 times 4. Okay, This is how I've got my 13, I've got it partitioned into the 10s and the 1s. So I've got my 13 times my 4. At the beginning we're going to use um, some apparatus that the children were used to in year 3, uh, sorry year 2. And they would be used to showing this sort of question as an array. So I'm going to start with an array. I'm going to do my four lots of ten. Okay, so here is my lots of ten. So I've got one lot of ten, two lots of ten, three lots of ten. And here we go. And then that's four lots of ten, and then I need four lots of three, or three lots of four. So here's my four rows of three. Okay. There we are. So I've got my 13 times four set out as an array. So now the children just need to count up. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so that's 40, and then I've got my 3, 6, 9, 12. Really important that the children start to learn these times tables to make these, this a lot easier for them. And I'm just going to add up these two boxes. So I've got 0 plus 2 is 2, and um, 40 plus 10 is 50. So the answer there is 52. Now, what the children will soon move on to is that they soon move on to understanding that these are easier to count in tens rather than lots of different ones. You can see there's lots of beans and you could easily make mistakes with the amount of beans that there are there and also it takes a lot of time. So the children will soon move on to something that we call uh, base 10 but it's just using objects to represent 10. So here we are, I've used the pasta now and I've got four lots of 10, each bit of pasta is worth 10, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. It's just a lot easier to start counting in this way, and then the beans are my ones. Okay, so it's the same method but just in a different form slightly.